Hey y'all, welcome back to Fire and Water Cooking. I'm Darren, of course, and today, look what I got. Unboxing of the new Gosney Arc XL. I'm not the first one to do a video on these guys because some of these people, some of the other bigger YouTube channels got these uh, early from Gosney Direct. They got them for free. I paid for this one, just so you guys know. This is gonna be a review and uh, of somebody who's not been gifted one of these. So I actually paid my own money for this. One of the reasons I did that is because I had a rock box originally that I paid for and also I had a Gosney dome that I paid for as well. And I kind of like both of those for certain things, but I needed something that uh, I think that was a little bit smaller than the dome and a little bit bigger than the rock box. And I'm hoping the Arc XL is going to fit that bill. I'll be back. We'll get this thing out of the box. Smoking, grilling, getting hot and hotter, sous vide and chilling from fire and water. Alright guys, so first things first, I did order this from a uh, barbecue uh, store online. I uh, can't even remember which one it was, I'll have to look at it later. Barbecue King or something like that. Um, it, they are a Gosney dealer and they were able to uh, ship it out to me. Uh, everybody got these at the same time and they all shipped them out at the same time. So you're going to start seeing a lot more uh, videos on these from people that actually ordered them and didn't get them sent directly, you know, gifted to them by uh, Gosney for sure. So it comes in this box. It came, mine came uh, UPS ground. And it arrived okay. It had a little ding on the box, but it didn't look like it uh, actually penetrated anything. So it's packed pretty good. But one of the things that I was impressed with, it's not that heavy. So <clears throat> when you look at it, you see a picture of it. It kind of looks very similar to the dome. But one of the things I noticed, it was nowhere near as heavy as the dome. So that's not as big as the dome. And since, uh, and it's actually, like I said, a little bit smaller. It's more of an in-between, like I said, the rock box and the uh, Gosney Dome. So that's what I was hoping for. So I guess uh, the XL, there's uh, um, the Arc and then the Arc XL. I guess the Arc is more for like uh, 12 to 14 inch pizzas and the XL can get up to 16 to 18 inch pizzas so um, I wanted to at least have the ability to do those because my biggest thing with the rock box was it was too small I mean you had a, pretty much all you could fit in there was a 12 inch pizza so that means you were making individual pizzas uh, and having to you know load three or four or five or six at a, at a time uh, right after another and I, I really didn't like that everything else worked perfect on it I really liked it um, it was just way too small for me and um, and that's why I got rid of it and that's why I replaced it with the dome but the dome to me was a little bit too big and, and after a while I really didn't even like using the wood I used it uh, the gas more and there were some other things I didn't care for about it and like I said I'm hoping this will solve all those uh, misconceptions or the, the issues that I had with the rock box and the dome so let's go ahead and get this out like I said it's a lot it's smaller and it's a lot lighter so we're definitely gonna have a little bit better time than I did getting the uh, uh, rock box out in, uh, or the uh, dome out and together so I'll be right back guys I'll show you where I'm gonna put this all right guys so as you can tell all you really got to do is you have to just take the uh, one corner off of the outside box hold on got under my sous vide here for some reason Come on, get up there. Ugh, fold. So you just actually tear the corner off that's glued on for the main box and that opens it up here and this just pops right open. It tells you to just open these up. They're just tabbed in there and then you can just take everything out just like this. Super easy to get out of the box. Well packaged though. Um, 
got a little crack in the styrofoam here, but everything in here is perfect. I am going to be able to lift this right out here and put it on my table right over here. I'm going to move my table right over here. And this is my table. I had some other, uh, I, I had the rock box on it at one time and it actually matches this bigger table here. <laughs> One of the things that uh, I do like about this one too, compared to the dome, is this stone is actually removable. On the full size dome, you can't remove the stone. This one you can actually use a little tool, one of these tools they send you, actually can actually pull that stone up and change it out. So if it does break or you have issues with it, you can actually pull that stone right out. Well, there you have it, guys. <laughs> Super simple. You don't have a whole lot to put together. You got your battery here for your starter. You got your uh, little uh, here's the match holder, so you can light the, light the pilot, I guess, if you need to. If you want to do it manually, here's a little Allen wrench put something on here and there's your tool this is your tool for your stone remover where you can just get it underneath there and pull it out and then here's our propane hose with the regulator that's simple guys <laughs> I'm sure the battery is going to be for both the um, electric starter and the uh, thermometer here. And uh, this is supposed to be a digital thermometer. If you've seen any other videos, I'm sure you'll see how cool the digital thermometer is on it. All right, guys, let me get this uh, hooked up and get the battery in it, and then. Uh, Get the, I got the propane tank already down there, so we're going to make sure I get this set up the way I want it, get the propane hooked up, then we'll fire it up. We're not going to cook on it right now. I'll do a video on cooks um, later on. I just wanted to get this thing out of the box, kind of show you, um, you know, you don't have to get the stand that they have. You can, but this little uh, table that I have actually has an area for propane that's covered down below and uh, fits it just perfect and you got storage down here to paper towel holder and all that kind of stuff so everything you would need on this little table to hold this thing and it's fine enough for me to uh, I don't I don't have to have it super high it's perfect for me to get this uh, a perfect height for me to get this in there all right let's hit this up and I'll be back show you uh, show you lighten it up all right, guys, so here it is all set up, ready to go. Super easy to do. You just pretty much take it out of the box, take all the little uh, uh, cardboard inserts and rubber uh, guides and everything out of it. Put your little uh, flame tamer in there, which you just kind of set it in. Put this on top, and it just fits right in there. Easy to come out. It only goes in one way. What you need to do though is take your little uh, compartment here that has your um, thermometer, your digital thermometer in it, and you need to take the screw off the back and there's a little plastic um, uh, piece in there that uh, makes it so the batteries don't work until you pull that piece out. It kind of blocks the uh, power so when it's uh, being shipped, because there's two batteries in there, AA batteries in there already. So you need to take it out, pull that little plastic piece off so your batteries work. And then in the back here, let's see if I can get you down there a little bit closer. Well, you can probably see it right there. That's where your uh, battery 
it's a triple-a battery for your igniter goes you just take that open that up put your triple-a battery that's included put it in there and uh, tighten it back up and then you close this this is slides right back in and then you can just turn your power on and there you go you got your digital thermometer and you just hit the little thermometer there swings it from Celsius to Fahrenheit or vice versa it's telling me it's 103 degrees don't know if it's really uh, it's sitting close to my smoker right now so I don't think it's really that hot here Then hold it down for a minute. There we go. I forgot about that. That's the same way on the dome. You got to kind of hold it in for a second till that uh, pilot gets uh, stays, gets that heat in there for a minute. But really simple, guys. Um, Take it out of the box, get all the, the, the stuff out, put the battery in, fix the, the, the battery for the uh, thermometer, hook up your, pow your uh, propane tank, and you're ready to go. It's really that simple. I think this will fit probably a, an 18 inch pizza with no problem. Um, I think they you know tell you 16, but it looks like it can fit an 18 inch pizza no problem and super easy to take care of like I said you can remove the stone and clean it if you want to just be careful you can replace the stone but that's it nothing really fancy about it it's uh, just a really cool little pizza oven and I think it's gonna be a perfect fit between the rock box by Gosney and the full-size um, dome because this will fit a big enough pizza and it's super easy to keep up with and keep clean. The rock box for me was just way too small. The dome was a little bit too big and a little bit too much for what I was looking for. But this, I'm really looking forward to it. So check it out guys. I'll put a link to it below. It's not an affiliate link. They didn't send me this for free. Uh, I will be doing some pizza cooks on here just uh, so you guys can get some uh, unbiased opinion on it but definitely check it out thanks for watching follow us on facebook instagram and i'll see you on the next one